Sandy Alomar joins us and a big congratulations goes out to you next week right here in downtown Cleveland on one of the great sports nights in the middle of winter, the Greater Cleveland Sports Awards. Sandy, you received the Lifetime Achievement Award. Congratulations. That's got to be a great feeling. Oh, Jimmy, you don't understand. It's, uh, it's very it's honoring and it's very humbling to be included with names like uh, uh, Bob Feller, Jim Brown, Benny Corsar, Mike Hargrove, and a guy named uh, Gene Donovan. That's right. is, that, is, is that another guy? <laughs> that, I heard that. Yeah, I heard there was a, there was a rumor a couple of yeah. years ago. He got thank you very much. And I want to tell you, it is a very very emotional night because uh, you know your career and your life will be put up there. There'll be a, a video tribute given to you, and then you'll receive the award, and then you'll say some words uh, say some words to a to a crowd that really wants to hear from you. Are you all set for that? Well, <laughs> I hope so. You know, I'm not. I'm, I'm better at playing ball and coaching than I'm at speaking. But uh, I'm sure that naturally things will come up that uh, I'll make people happy and understand about our careers and and how much I appreciate uh, uh, and they appreciate me yeah. back on, uh, you know, the, the community of Cleveland on and off the field. It's been, uh, it's been a wonderful experience being in Cleveland all those years. You know, that team, your team, that turned it around and gave us those wonderful years in the mid-'90s has a big spot in everybody's heart. I mean, they really do, no matter who it is on that team, you or Mike Cargrove or, you know, Omar Vizquel, you, you go right down the roster. Everybody has a special spot in their heart for that team because baseball really came back to Cleveland, at least on the winning side. Uh, absolutely. Now, it, was a, it was a great a great team, unified team, a lot of chemistry going on. I uh, mean, we, we fought, we laughed, we joked, but at the end of the day, we were there to win games. Nobody was thinking about their numbers. Everybody was thinking, how are we going to win games? And it started in 1990, and uh, Carlos Barga, when Carlos Barga and myself got traded to Cleveland for Joe Carter, and uh, I remember telling Carlos all the time, man, we got traded for a prolific power hitter. Right. We, you know, we have a lot of big issues to feel, but... You know, fans embraced us right away from the beginning, and that made it a lot of easy, a lot easier for us. And we came and, and performed, and uh, we were able to get a core group of guys uh, that were able to do it. Wasn't it amazing, Sandy, that the team really matured and became great and an, an incredible offensive team right at the time when the doors opened to then Jacobs Field? That is unbelievable. It was a perfect timing. Yeah. Uh, I, I say that uh, our guys acted like they were better than they were at that time. When we were in the old stadium, they started getting a little bit of uh, the, the aura of right. being good. And if they were not good enough yet, they mm -hmm. pretend they were. Yeah. So, uh, you know, we were getting a swagger and we were getting comfortable. By the time we came to the new stadium, we added up some pieces with like Oro Hoischeiser, Tony mm -hmm. Pena, and Dennis Martinez. Those guys really helped us out of how to turn a corner and winning. Did you guys feel, because you certainly played this way, but did you feel invincible playing in that ballpark, no matter what the deficit was late in a ball game? It just seemed as though you guys knew, whatever we need, we're going to go do it. We need six runs in the ninth. We're going to get seven runs in the ninth. That was unbelievable. The feeling you had, like uh, you, were, you were down by four or five in the, in the last inning, and their closer is up on the mound. You go, oh, we got this guy. <laughs> uh, we, I'm like, really? We got this guy. We're down by five. One of the best closer. <laughs> Bam! Start going, and, and the magic in the field, the support of the fans, it was sold out every single night. Yeah, it was a remarkable time, and uh, uh, I kind of see some of the new guys now mm -hmm. in the new era, right. kind of similar to that with the lean doors and Jose Ramirez doing their thing. Uh, I think that uh, the '90s were such a special time because there was so much drought. Right. That uh, when we finally closed that gap. We were able to win for many years. Uh, you hit uh, two of the biggest home runs I remember at the ballpark, okay? Uh, same year, I think, too, right? 97, the All-Star game. You hit the home run. The American League wins it. You're the MVP. I remember you came on the news with me right after you, right after you <laughs> did it. Your son was with you. He had the trophy. That was, a, that was an incredible night, wasn't it? It's funny that you say that because <laughs> that's a joke all the time we talk about. Marcus, Marcus my son... 
Uh, he was saving all the time. He jumped in the field, <laughs> and the first thing he goes, "That's my trophy. Give me that <laughs> trophy, right. Dad." Like, I said, "Okay, Marcus, let's <laughs> let's talk to the news first, and then I'll give you the trophy." <laughs> Till this day, he still have that trophy, so you know. How old is Marcus now? How old? Twenty seven. Twenty seven. <laughs> okay. Till this now, day, he still have that trophy. All right. Well, that's good. He should have it. That was a great night. Okay, but. The Indians are four outs away from being eliminated. The great Mariano Rivera is on the mound, and you hit the home run that ties that ball game up. Sandy, uh, that was an amazing night, and it turned the whole series because you won, ended up winning that game and then came back the next night and knocked them off. That was an amazing home run. Well, I think I think they had a lot of respect for all the Yankees did, even though uh, they were ahead in that series. They, they knew that we could come back any time. Uh, 97 was a special year, and the focus was a little bit different. I, I, in that particular I bat, I, I, I told myself, because I had success against Mariano Rivera in the regular season. Mm-hmm. It's not like it was something that came out of, out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. I, I, I figured, you know, this guy throws everything away, you know, up in the zone, the ball cut. I'm just going to focus myself in a different area, uh, up and away, and I'm going to try to drive it to right field. And I was just happened to be ahead in the camp, threw the ball right where I was looking, I was able to put a decent swing, and the ball went went out. Right. What a what an, like, ama- what an amazing feeling. Huh? I, unbelievable. I don't even know <laughs> how I ran the bases. I was just <laughs> so I was so happy and to, just to get an opportunity to get that guy out of there. Yeah. Get that guy out of there because <laughs> we had a hard time hitting that guy. Yeah. A lot of people did. Um, tell me this: Are you surprised that that team, that great Indians team through that era, didn't win a World Series? Very surprised. I, I uh, you know, World Series, a lot of it is luck, too. Uh, yeah. I felt like uh, we, we ran into uh, a, a good pitching staff with the Atlanta Brave, 95. Sure. And we were, you know, we had to uh, we had to fight two good series uh, against the Yankees and Baltimore. Uh, Baltimore, we kind of, like, played them a lot better than I thought. Uh, they took us a little bit for granted, so we, we kind of, like, played them very well. Uh in 97, I mean, 97. I I, I, uh, I think that we played two hard series, and then we faced the Marlins, and, and we were a little bit tired, but uh, I think we fought to the end. That series could have go either way. But 95, I feel we, we, we're still learning about sure. that level. You know, that yeah. we were not we, – we weren't even sure if we, we belonged there or not, but we knew that we were good. Yeah. But the Atlanta Braves have been knocking on our door for a long time, but we knew we were going to be back. We just didn't know when, but – it's unfortunately that we haven't closed that that chapter yet. Sandy, uh, in in your role then with the organization as a coach on the uh, on the staff with the Indians, these Indians teams have made a good run too, and and have been very very close, haven't they? Absolutely, it's kind of is disheartening a little bit that you you I've been in uh, I've been the Indians have been in five World Series. Mm-hmm. And I, I've been fortunate to be in three of them. Yeah. Two as a player and one as a coach. Right. Two game seven is like is, is 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 it hurts. It hurts. Uh, unfortunately, especially when you up three one and the last one you up three one and you end up losing, uh, you know the last three games to to the Cubs. The Cubs were a, a, a fantastic team, but I think I thought that we we had that series uh, uh, up three to one. But it goes to show you in baseball, you know, right. do you get those those twenty seven outs in the in the game seven? You know, you're not, it's it's very difficult. So, uh, in wrapping up here, and as you get set to come back and and have a wonderful night here in Cleveland, when you get traded from San Diego to come here to Cleveland, could you have ever imagined so much in your life would become Cleveland history? That was the, I tell everyone that that was. Uh, one of the biggest things that ever happened in my life. One, uh, you know, it, it changed my life forever coming to Cleveland because uh, they, they gave me the opportunity to play baseball. Never thought it, it was going to happen. All this was going to happen. All I wanted to do is make a difference somewhere and the better place than there. The people embraced me with open arms. Uh, it's been like that since day one. Even in the, good, in the bad times when I was hurt, injured, they supported me. And uh, to this day, I feel like uh, I've been part of Cleveland the, my entire life. So, you know, I can only say thank you so much to the people in Cleveland, the Great Sports Commission of Cleveland, that uh, uh, they they chose me for this award. I'm, I'm I'm honored. You should be, and you richly deserve it. And it will be great to see you here next week. Out there, thank you very much. I'm, I'm looking forward to see you also. Thanks, Sandy. Thanks for joining all right. us. All right. Uh, thank you. No problem. All right, buddy. Take care. Have a good night. All right, all right buddy. You too.